like, comment, and subscribe for more content. What's up guys, it's Dylan aka DK Wrestler here, and in today's video is a behind the scenes look of March 2020's Funko Photo A Day Challenge. But before that happens, make sure you press that subscribe button for more content like this video in the future, and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when that future content gets released. But anyways, let's check it out. So today's video, like I said, is a behind the scenes look of the Funko Photo A Day Challenge for March 2020. As I'm filming this part, the intro right now, it is March 17th, which I know I'm a little early, it doesn't start till the 22nd, but you know, with the whole COVID-19 thing, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, you know, go out to places and be in self-isolation. Well, I mean, I shouldn't be in self-isolation, because I haven't been anywhere out of the country in the last 21 days or whatever it is, but you get my drift. We could be under some sort of lockdown. The first one for March 22nd, I believe, is Women of Power. So I wanna kind of get like a woman pop going on. And I got a couple of women pop in mind that I'm looking at my collection right now. All right, so the first idea I had going on is the man Becky Lynch right here, the Amazon exclusive. And that's because, you know, first of all, she calls herself the man, even though she's a woman, but she's kind of bringing up the women's evolution. She's kind of like the face at the moment of the women's division, so she would be a cool one for a woman of power. But my second choice is this glow-in-the-dark chase of Naomi. I think this one would be great because, you know, St. Patrick's Day is this month in March, and that... Uh, this one, since it glows in the dark, it glows green, and it's a very nice color. Go check out our review video for this pop. There'll be a suggestion thing above. But anyways, I think now as I think about it, I'm going to go with the Naomi one. Once I get back from my buddy's house, I'm going to end up probably charging this one up and taking a picture of this in the dark. So the next one after Woman of Power after that would be, I think it's called Puppy Day. So my buddy just got a dog, and I think it's part shepherd, so it goes along with this German Shepherd Funko Pop, and hopefully I'm able to kind of do some sort of photo with like both of the dogs, just because that would look cool, and it would be cool content for not only our Instagram page, which you'll see the Funko Photo Today Challenge, but you'll see uh, this going on on the YouTube channel also. So we're gonna see how that turns out, because I'm gonna go to his place. However, I do have a backup plan if maybe it doesn't work out well. All right, so it's the next day, and the photo I wanted to take with my buddy's dog, it didn't really, go as planned especially because first the dog didn't get along with me at first but then we got along after which is good and then I ended up forgetting about the photo actually which was a huge reason why it didn't happen I'm in a certain area right now where I think I could pull off the photo still with just the pop of the German Shepherd dog I'm gonna go to that area and figure out exactly where I'm gonna place the pop and see where I can take a picture of it. All right, so here's the area I was talking about right here. There's some nice grass here, there's a bench, so I feel like maybe I could put the pop somewhere like over here with like a nice view of the bench. And if you hear those damn seagulls, they're right there. I might maybe even have a shot with the seagulls in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna take the pop out of the box and see where I'm actually gonna put this thing. I kind of found some sort of spot. There's this cool hill thing that I'll show you guys after, and my camera's kind of wobbling because of the wind, so I'm gonna see if I can put the German Shepherd pop right here. I'm gonna kind of tilt it. I wanna have those Canadian geese you can see over there uh, in the background kinda, cause you know, the dog could be chilling here and then there's some animals in the background. So I think that's pretty cool. But I noticed in my shot that the geese is actually more of the focus area when I kinda want this dog to be the focused area. So I'm gonna fix that up and then I'll show you guys how the photo turns out after. As you can see, I took a lot of photos, even here, like, I had a lot of problems with just, like, the background being more focused than the actual dog itself, like, specifically, like, you got this one, and you zoom in more, and essentially the stone in that was actually more focused than the dog. But you can see that the actual background here with, like, the bridge is more focused than anything here, but then I think it's this one that ended up turning out the best out of all of them, because the dog is actually pretty great in focus along with the stone that's over here but i did a little editing through this phone when i took the photo and this is what i'm going to end up using because it brings out kind of the colors more in my opinion and you can actually see the dog much more than even on here and it's still pretty great so it's march 19th and i forgot to do the behind the scenes actually for the day one uh when i was taking the photo last night for woman of power i have this kind of old wrestling ring for action figures. I put the Naomi Pop 
out of the box, obviously, in the corner of where the turnbuckles are. And I had shined one of these black lights that I have above it. And then you can kind of see, like, there was purple on the ground, actually. And you can see kind of the ropes of it. And this is what the photo would have turned out to look like in the end, though. And yeah, that would be for day one, which is Woman of Power. All right, so it's March 21st. I'm about to do day three's Funko Photo a Day Challenge, which I think it's Paka Paka. I actually uh, have a soda cat which this one is kitty cola that's one i'm going to end up using and i just quickly went to a corner store and grabbed like a bottle of fago cherry cola i don't know what exactly i'm going to do with this yet whether i'm going to like take the label off and maybe put funko kitty cola on the bottle or just have maybe like the kitty colas in a cup and like you can actually see the drink pouring in a glass while i take the photo all right so this is the photo that i ended up taking i actually redid the whole bottle of my soda that i just got so then i actually made a pack a pack a logo slapped it on there i just reversed the label so that's white and then i just put the logo there and added kitty cola beside it and then now you know it's a soda cap because it's also in a soda bottle the only thing i'm going to change here i think because i tried all these settings already is the light because it's so bright because I had a light going on in the background I was just going to dim it down and then it's just like taking a normal photo but still nice and bright so I'm kind of just waking up now it's March 22nd I believe which today actually marks day one of Funko Photo a Day Challenge for March 2020 but right now I'm going to do day four I believe it is which is International Waffle Day it was a very hard thing to do because I wanted to go to MDs and use like 11 from stranger things because that would have been the easiest option but you would have heard on last week or the week before's podcast of why md's not going to be on for the next couple weeks but i have backup plan so i'm going to take this dudley do right the mountie essentially i'm going to make some waffles and i'm going to have like maple syrup poured on it and you'll you'll see how the photo turns out when i complete it i'll admit i kind of rushed on this photo just because i'm kind of in a hurry right now because i'm about to head to do some grocery shopping this is what one of the photos had turned out to be. So I added Dudley Do Right the Mountie on a plate with waffles and having the maple syrup pour on the waffles as he's standing there. So there's that, and I think I took two photos, yeah, on two different angles. And then there's this one where he's just laying down. However, his face is kind of brightened right there, which I don't really like, but I needed some extra light. So I think I might go with I think I might go with this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'll do some editing on the photo, and then I will post it to good old Instagram when it's ready to post. So it's March 23rd, I believe. I posted day two for Funko Photo of Day Challenge, which was the puppy day photo that I'd taken that I kind of had a little bit of troubles with. The photo I'm going to work on right now will be the 26th photo which is Shelfie, which it seems like every year I do Shelfie or every time there's Shelfie. I'm always doing the Toy Story one. And I think the last time that I did one was for WWE. I wanted to do MD's shelf, but unfortunately due to his situation at the moment, I can't go over to his place. But I do have a pretty cool idea for a new part of Shelfie. I think I'm going to go with Saved by the Bell just because that's an easy set to have in this Shelfie lineup because... Of the fact there's only six i don't know if i'm going to do it in box or out of box but i plan to possibly in between jesse and ac slater that i would have like the dvd like in between and then like the pops kind of going around it i'll see how it looks out of box and then i'll show you what it ends up being i bought this complete dvd set like months ago at my local walmart you can see like the little sticker there but i'd never opened it up yet for some reason but i guess now is the time that i'm opening it up because i gotta use it for shelfie so at this very moment i have switched my save by the bell from this empty shelf that was the save by the bell shelf to where my riverdale pops were just to set up this photo so i tried different scenarios with like maybe the three pops just like diagonally like this way on this shelf but it didn't really work out well and i wanted to have the dvd in the middle but I had situated so that I can use like half of this shelf. I could just stack up the pops like that where like the boxes are kind of out for the bottom row. But then for that back of the boxes, I don't know if you can see because of the light, is pushed against to the backing of the shelving unit. So then I could have all six pops chilling like this. And then you can have the DVD on the side like that so that 
you have your own little say by the bell set so yeah that will be my shelfie funko photo a day challenge photo all right so this is how the photo had turned out but i did do a little editing with the color because i felt like the purpley colors in the boxes and the dvd weren't really like vibrant so i upped the color a bit on the editing and now that purple is more bright which i really like so i'm going to end up using this version of the photo for the shelfie funko photo a day challenge all right it's wednesday the 25th i took a day off just because i wanted to just kind of relax and watch some uh, good old disney plus but the photo i'm going to be doing right now is the funko fashion friday which is scheduled for obviously what would be friday the 27th and currently the only funko attire i have is this dwight shirt what i'm basically going to do is grab the target exclusive dwight that comes with this shirt with the blonde hair and i'm going to basically hold the sh pop like right next to the shirt and that's basically all the photo is going to be but i'll show you guys what the photo turned out to be after all right so like i said this is exactly how i said the photo would turn out to be there's a couple that I did take. I forget which one it was that, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. You could tell that I kind of brightened up the color so that it's more yellowish around the logo for the t-shirt and kind of Dwight's hair. So that's all I did for the editing process of this photo. So it's Friday, March 27th, and I kind of took a break once again yesterday or else I would have done the Saturday Funko Photo a Day Challenge, which is actually tomorrow now as I realize that I uh, upload. That day is called Spring Cleaning for the Challenge, and the pop I'm going to use, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do, is with this EB Game slash GameStop exclusive Sad Face Forky. Alright, so basically I have a broom that is kind of leaned up against this counter, and I have Forky there. Basically what's going to be like is if I have the broom and I'm about to sweep up Forky and Forky's all scared. So that is going to be the Saturday Funko Photo a Day Challenge. Here's the Forky photo, which I took like three photos, but they all seem to be very good uh, just because the focus is more on Forky and the broom and then the outside is kind of blurred out. Yeah, I don't think I need to edit anything on this photo because the lighting and everything looks fine on this. So yeah. That is the last one for March 2020's Funko Photo A Day Challenge. All right, so as I film this clip, it's Sunday, March 29th, which is the day before this video releases. And I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on whether any of my photos had been featured or had won the hashtag Funko Photo A Day Challenge, which none of them won. Almost all of them didn't get featured except one, which I'll put the photo somewhere on the screen in which the Paka Paka photo that I had done with the little kitty cola with the bottle that I made with the Paka Paka logo on it actually got featured on Funko's Instagram page, which I was really pumped about that. I thought that photo wasn't even gonna get chosen at all. Like out of all the ones I'd done, I thought that was the one that would be least likely to win and maybe like the International Waffle Day one. Like that one got featured and I was very happy about it. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes video, make sure you smash that like button to let us know that you're enjoying not only this content that was just provided to you guys, but all the content that's being provided to you guys on this channel. Comment in the comment section below on what your favorite photo was that I had taken for the Funko Photo A Day Challenge and let me know do you want to see another behind the scenes Funko Photo A Day Challenge video considering that Funko will be doing Funko Photo A Day Challenges every month now so if you guys want one I will do one for next month in April. And like I said earlier press that subscribe button for more content like this video in the future and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when that future content gets released. But anyways Thank you all for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace out!